Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. There is a very exciting upcoming mobile first-person shooter coming out from Tencent, hopefully not too long from now. Up until this point in time, they've only been testing the PC version of this game. They've done several tests in China. The tests have gone very well. We've seen some very cool gameplay, and the game looks absolutely fantastic. But today, we're going to see the very first small snippets of gameplay on mobile devices. We're going to see the very first mobile gameplay from this game. This game could rival games like Warzone Mobile and maybe even be as popular as Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile if Tencent markets the game well and they do their things just right with this game. It's at least going to be on par with a game like Arena Breakout for having some of the best graphics ever for a mobile first person shooter. This game is called Delta Force Hawk Ops. I've made several videos on this game already and this game had a lot of commotion a few months ago when they first released their teaser trailer to it. It looked fantastic in the teaser trailer and I can testify the gameplay looks as good as the trailer is making it out to be. A lot of games, you know, the trailer makes it look better than the game actually is. Not this game. They posted a one hour long gameplay to Chinese social media of their very first ever test in China. We reacted to it. I showed you all the gameplay in one of my past videos and it looked fantastic. I think the mobile version is going to look very similar to the PC version because it's made by Tencent. Tencent has already proven themselves for making games as good as Arena Breakout, for instance. And yeah, if you wanted to see that gameplay, then I will have it linked down below in the description. That will show the best quality gameplay that you could possibly see right now from the PC version of Delta Force Hawk Ops. However, today they released a new dev diary, I guess technically yesterday, they released it yesterday, and in this dev diary, they are showcasing the mobile gameplay as well as all of the new changes that they have done since their last dev diary about a month or two ago. It's been a little bit since the last time that they did that. It's been already 170 days since their teaser trailer, which is just crazy, a half a year, and a half a year is a lot of time for development. They've done a lot of changes. I've already watched this video beforehand and I saw they've done a lot of things differently in this game. Um, a lot of improvements and it seems like these developers really know what they're doing. They seem like they're kind of like the arena breakout developers in a sense where they're really caring about the community. They are listening very well and it seems like this game is on a very, very good track. Now, unfortunately, obviously, I would love to just listen to what they are saying but they are speaking in Chinese in this dev update, so we're going to just have to kind of voice over everything. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. At least we get to see what they have to say at the bottom of the screen there. Very beginning here, they just do some introductions. Um, and I believe we don't have to fast forward too much before we get to show some gameplay. The gameplay looks absolutely fantastic. And yes, if you didn't know, this game has two different types of game modes. So the one that you are seeing right here is a more battlefield type of game mode. You could probably draw a lot of comparisons between this game and like, you know, Battlefield 2042, Battlefield 5. It's it's set in like present day, it seems like. So it's not futuristic, but you know, it definitely feels like a battlefield mode. Then he's also talking about their brand new game mode called, uh, well, Hazard Operations, I think is what they said. Um, and this is more of an extraction mode. It looks like the two maps that he said were Layali Grove and Zero Dam. And uh, basically, this is more of a Escape from Tarkov type of game mode where you have to spawn into the map, you loot stuff, you have to search secret bunkers and gather as much stuff as possible, steal the loot from people that you kill, and then you extract. Um, and it's more like a DMZ type of game mode than anything. It's not necessarily as slow paced as Escape from Tarkov is. So, you know, if you've played games like Arena Breakout before, that game is much more like Escape from Tarkov. This is going to be more fast paced and it's going to be more similar to a Call of Duty extraction game. So that kind of gives you guys, uh, you know, an up to speed on what this game is about. He also talked about Easter eggs, which is really cool. Looks like new characters and other stuff like that. Um, I think Easter eggs is a great addition to any game like this because, I mean, YouTubers can make videos on them. They can get so much traction to the game, and any developer that adds Easter eggs is definitely doing something right. So let's go fast forward a little bit more. He's talking about if the PC version is just a mobile game port or if the graphics are set too high. He's saying basically that you know you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about this game only running on the top of the line devices it is going to be a very optimized game 
And I have no doubt in my mind that is the case because this is a Tencent game. Tencent does a very good job at optimizing their games. And if the regular version of the game isn't necessarily the most optimized game in the entire world, they might even make a light version, kind of like Arena Breakout. Arena Breakout has a full dedicated light version that you can really lower their graphics down a ton. And it makes the game playable on pretty much any type of device. In the upcoming test, we'll lower the requirements. That's always great. Restrictions on the devices, very important. With graphics card like the NVIDIA 1060, you'll be able to play the game smoothly. Also, we've been working on AMD GPU performance. You know, and this is not really necessarily the most important stuff for us, just because we're probably not going to be able to play in this test. As for the mobile version, we're making progress in parallel. And this is it. This is it. This is it. Hold on. Let's go back. First look. Mobile version footage. Take a look at that screenshot right there. This is on a phone. This is what it looks like right now, pre-alpha, on the mobile version of the game. There is even a waterfall in the background. There's water effects right there. It looks like the trees and the grass and everything are moving. It's not just a static scene. This looks on par with Arena Breakout, maybe even better. I just like this because it's more colorful. There's more life to the battlefield. That's freaking crazy. It's like a, a more tropical version of Miramar and PUBG, just with like way enhanced graphics. And this is it. You're getting to see some hand cam gameplay, dude. Very, very small snippet. Very small snippet of gameplay. But hey, that's the very first Delta Force mobile gameplay we got to see. And I'm going to see here. Looks like there are some interesting buttons on your screen. For instance, uh, it looks like... Did this guy just completely eliminate him? Yes, he did. So I'm going to assume you can probably like revive people and do a whole bunch of other stuff. There's an interesting thing that they do in this game. You can actually carry your teammate's body. So if this gameplay was showing them in a team and... He, inst he knocked him down instead of completely eliminated him. His teammate could come in and pick up the body. Um, but that's probably not something that they're going to show just because, you know, that's probably later on down the line in development. There's uh, different abilities that you can press. You can see at the very far right-hand side of the screen. Um, I don't know what the one that's highlighted in green is. Almost looks like a type of cannon. But they're probably like some sort of special ability or like type of grenade, something like that. It looks like there is a stamina bar. That's what you would expect. You're healing. Um, looks like you're going to have two different weapons and you can switch between auto and semi-auto. Obviously pretty important. You would expect these types of things. And it looks like the matches can be pretty long, at least in the extraction mode. There is a timer at 32 minutes and 20 seconds. So that's pretty good amount of time so you're going to be able to accommodate mid-range and low-end devices i completely believe that is the case this is not going to be a warzone mobile situation where it like only runs well on ios devices no this is made by a chinese company okay 10 cents they have more android devices than ios devices in china so they're going to be catering to both types of devices equally and as he says, they're going to optimize the game as much as possible. We're collaborating closely with Tencent's security team, leveraging their experience and their technical strength to combat cheating and establish our security defense. Finally, we hope that through the efforts of our team, we can continuously optimize the game to deliver a truly enjoyable experience. Thank you. So what's his name? Hold on. I want to go back here for a second. This is the developer that we need to put all of our faith in. All right. What's his name? Kat Liang. Kat Liang. So uh, please, for the love of God, Kat, uh, if you can make your game look good for mobile devices, that's all I ask. I hope, uh, I hope that they can invite me to China so I can meet the development team. That would be cool. Oh, this is actually really good. This is good. When I was watching this um, yesterday, when it, when it first came out, um, they're very transparent here. This is good. He was talking about the AI and they're actually showing development footage which is really cool that's freaking awesome dude through extensive testing at 120 tq we've been able to resolve program related issues 
We evaluate the CPU and network performance of our servers and prioritize selecting the fastest and closest server to optimize network latency. This is all stuff that you would expect from a massive development team, so that's nothing really new. He's talking about the cheating once again. We've implemented a cheating technology to prevent wall hacking and aimbotting. This is, this is where he's being very transparent. Look, he's saying there's still a big gap between the quality of NPCs in our and AAA games. So he's being completely upfront and honest and saying, look, our AI is not necessarily the best right now. The bots, they're kind of dumb. They don't know what they're doing. They're walking around and looking like idiots, but they are determined to make them better. And I don't doubt that, you know, because if Arena Breakout has good bots, why can't this game have good bots, you know? I feel like Arena Breakout should be a benchmark. This is a newer game than Arena Breakouts. They should make the, this game at least equal, if not better than that, because they have better technologies and more up-to-date, you know, systems. This is the art director, William. There's going to be new maps in the upcoming tests, one of which is a classic remake from the Delta Force franchise. Very exciting. We've utilized cutting edge production, cutting edge production. God, I can't speak. And basically, you know, he's talking about the same stuff that everybody's saying, you know, improving the textures, improving some other t stuff. Lighting was too glaring. The colors were overly vibrant, apparently, which kind of affected the immersion. That's what he's saying. And I don't necessarily know if I agree to that. Based off of the gameplay, I like a bit of a more colorful map. I liked how it looked like in the last one, but, you know, if they want to make it more, like, real colors and less saturated, they obviously know what they're doing, okay? So I'm not really going to doubt that. Further added wear and tear marks on weapons and vehicles. Very cool. Distinctive new characters focusing on portraying their personalities and their unique tactical gear. I think, let me see, enhancing various aspects such as hair, eyes, and skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. These are some of their operators. Look at how good they look in the game. This this looks so close to real life. I mean, mobile if this is what it looks like on the mobile version, I mean, this is this is fantastic. And just gaming graphics in general are getting really close to realistic, like full-on real life graphics. That's just crazy to me. Here we go. He's talking about some of the firearm textures enhancing the metallic texture it looks great many players have mentioned that our weapon animations lack distinctive features to address this issue we've gathered our animation experts to design original animations that embody the delta force characteristics we've also enlisted experienced animation experts from the film industry to further elevate the overall quality of the animations that's great that's great and obviously, I've never played the original Delta Force games, so I don't know. Obviously, if you're watching this and you have played them in the past, how are these real these reloads? Are they true to what it looked like on the original games? I'm sure they didn't have inspections back 20 years ago, but let's go see here. This is very important. This is talking about the next test. And the next test is going to be very, very soon. And I'm hoping there's a way that we can actually get into this test, even though we're not, you know, Chinese, okay? I'm hoping there's a way because with a lot of other games, they have figured out ways to get into tests. It says, after the spring festival holiday, we'll begin the second PC test in China. I believe the spring festival holiday of this year ends around February 20th, February 21st, okay? And today is February 10th. So that's 11 days from now. It could be as soon as 11 days from now. If, if I'm getting my dates correctly, I believe it's around that time. It might be in March. You know, they could have a week or so window just to kind of like finalize everything because I would bet they're probably not working during this spring festival. They're probably off for like a national holiday or something like that. Oh, look at this. So we've been testing the PC version and not... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Some may wonder why we've been testing the PC version and not the mobile version. In fact, we already have an internal mobile build-up and kicking. Build-up and kicking. 
It has not yet met the standards for the testing, therefore it still needs, but we can reveal the mobile testing will also start soon, so you won't have to wait too long. Big news. Big, big news. And that's about it, you know? They're just kind of talking about some other stuff, feedback. They're very thankful for from people, and um, that's basically that. I'm going to show you all a little bit of gameplay here as we wrap everything up. This gameplay is a snippet from my last video where I took a look at real gameplay from the PC version from that test that they talked about in China a little while back. Um, I will obviously link that video down below in the description as well as their dev diary if you wanted to like look at the entire thing. I think we basically covered everything though, but you know, I'll link it down below just so you guys can watch it. Subscribe to their channel, give support to the developers, leave nice comments and stuff like that because it seems like they're doing a really, really cool thing here. And I'm so excited for the mobile version. It's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a really freaking cool game. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you all did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the mobile version of Delta Force Hawk Ops. I know, I know. It's a very, very small snippet that we've gotten to see here from this game. We barely got to see anything. Let me go back here real quick. Yeah. Very, very small snippet of gameplay. But these graphics look fantastic. Some of the best I have ever seen. And this looks really good as well, the hand cam gameplay too. I would assume this gameplay is probably not on max graphics because you can see max graphics here and it looks like they're only getting about 20 FPS or something like that. It's not completely smooth. It's much smoother here. So they're probably running this at like mid graphics, something like that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about Delta Force Hawk Ops and I will see you all in the next episode.